Now let's start using uh, cell to uh, to make some changes. We uh, so you know we have this uh, immutable struct here. Uh, we're going to use uh, you know, bring in a cell, and uh, here it is. Use standard cell cell. Uh, that is where it is located. So now we can just type uh, cell, and uh, you know the first change to make is instead of a bool, this is going to be a cell uh, with a bool inside. And then the next thing we're going to do is here. We can't uh, we can't say on sale is true. We have to make it into a cell. And you can see the new function is really easy. You just uh, type cell new and then you put something inside it. So we are going to do that. So cell new and that will be true. So when you first uh, sell a phone, it's on sale and then. Um, Let's say a few uh, a few years pass, and uh, actually let's uh, let's debug it first. So super phone. Well, we will debug print it, and then we can see uh, what this looks like. And there it is. So on sale is now uh, it's just a cell with a value of true. And so that uh, what we're going to do is you can see there's um there's not too many methods. Cell is really really simple. You've got get which uh, it gets the value, so it um, gives you the T, the, the value inside. Uh, we are going to use uh, self, or we're going to use set, uh, which, um, and you can see the example here, all you do is you say dot set, and then you, you know, set the thing, that the, the value you want to give it. So that is extremely easy. So we're going to uh, take on sale, and we're going to uh, set it to false. And then we will debug that phone 3000, and then uh, we can we can finally see that we've uh, we've managed to make a change inside an immutable struct. Uh, so uh, that's kind of cool, making uh, making changes when uh, when you you didn't think you could before. And then uh, let's uh, let's try using uh, let's use get to uh, to pull it out. So we will use. Uh, on sale, on sale, and then get, and then that will just, um, oh, and by the way, this is a, uh, you know, you can see why it's safe. It's returning a copy of the contained value. So we're not touching, uh, we're not doing anything weird to it. And also you can see, uh, they have this uh, this message here a lot inside uh, the, uh, the documentation for sale. And, uh, you know, it can cause data races if you have uh, separate threads. And what uh, Rust uses is this trait called uh, exclamation mark sync, and that is um, that gives it a limitation to make sure that it can't go between threads. And um, there are other types that you can use between threads that are safe, but uh, cell is not safe to do that, so you give it this limitation. And you can see it's very, um, you know, you're copying things in, uh, copying things out, and uh, you know nothing. Uh, Nothing weird is happening, and uh, you know it uses these really, uh, really basic types. So we uh, so we set it to false, and then we pulled out the false. So that worked well. Now let's do the same thing for our. Uh, if you remember this this awesome trait that we have a, uh, you know we ha we have this return number, and we would like to do a mute self, but unfortunately the uh, the the function for the trait needs a. Uh, a reference to self. So we, uh, we're going to have to, let's see, this was a U32. So we will use standard cell cell. So we will bring in our friend cell and we'll do that. And then what are we going to do? Uh, you know, in this function, what we want to do is uh, change the number and then we want to return the, uh, the number. So let's see, uh, let new number equals uh, we're going to have self dot uh, number dot get that will give us a copy of that plus 10 and then we are going to set it so we will say uh, self dot uh, number dot set and then uh, new number so it will get that and then we are going to return uh, self dot number dot uh, get and that should, uh, I think Rust should be happy with that. Uh, self dot uh, number dot 
get. Let's see. Oh, forgot the semicolon. There we go. Forgot to uh, to not type the semicolon. So there you go. We have um, we've made uh, we've made Rust happy again, and now we've been able to uh, to create a book that can uh, that can change its number. So let's uh, let's make that book. So uh, let my book equals book name. Uh, I didn't think of a cool name, so we are calling this book something to string and then the number is going to be we'll start with a uh, cell new and this book has the number 10 and then uh, let's uh, let's print out our book let's give it a uh, let's print it out like that and then first we'll look at it And you can see it's a cell with a value of 10. And then we are going to get the next number uh, for this uh, function. And you know, we don't know why we want this, but uh, it's a demonstration of uh, being able to change it and then, uh, and uh, you know, do it uh, inside a cell. So next number equals uh, my book return number. And doing that will actually change it. And so when we do, uh, debug my book again, the uh, the number should be different. So we didn't print, uh, print out my number as well. Let's see. <laughs> Next number. There we go. Let's give it a reference so that debug doesn't uh, take it by value. And there we go. So we started out with uh, a cell. Inside it is 10. Uh, then we uh, we got this uh, this next number here. Um, we use this uh, this return number to uh, to change it using a cell on the inside. Changed it to a 20, and then uh, gave us this 20. And then the next time we look at my book, we have uh, we have this cell here, and inside instead of 10, it has 20. So that is the easiest way. Uh, the easiest and most limited way uh, to make changes on the inside and the next one is going to be is its cousin and cell's cousin is called ref cell and uh, it uses references in an interesting way so we will look at that uh, in the next video